वेलकम टू डॉक्टर टी एस पी आर शो दिस इज डॉक्टर तंगेल शिव प्रसाद रेड्डी अलियास डॉक्टर टी एस पी आर नमस्ते आदाब हलो वी आर लेवन मिनट्स डिलेड बिकॉज ऑफ सम टेक्निकल हिचेस दो लेट वी आर कमिंग अप विद द वेरी लेटेस्ट वी आर कमिंग विद स्पोर्ट्स मैन स्पिरिट दैट इज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे एंड अगेन वी हैव द गालिब ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ डॉक्टर अमिताभ बनर्जी जी सर नमस्कार सो बिफोर या बात करिए सब आपका वॉइस क्या हुआ सर बात करिए सब एक बार वॉइस इज वेरी अगेन देर इज अ टेक्निकल हिच नहीं सब नॉट एबल टू हियर योर वॉइस ब्लूटूथ कनेक्ट मत करिए यू लॉइस टू योर वॉइस यू आर जस्ट नॉट ऑडिबल these are the technical issues for the first time though we are having bandwidth problems but that is the reason why there is a delay stay with us we'll connect with uh, dr amitav banerji meanwhile i'll just show you the purpose of the show as usual is very clear the backdrop is very clear as well we'll try to show what is happening around the world and meanwhile we'll just try to get him अरे बैग साहब एक बार बात करिए एक बार बात करिए सर मैं सब नॉट एबल टू हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू शेयर ऑल्सो शेयर स्क्रीन में भी ऑडियो नहीं आ रहा कुछ देर इज अ बिग टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम हियर Even here, I am unable to relate. Even the video was playing quite normally. I don't know what's happening with this. यहाँ पर ये भी नहीं आ रहा सब सरप्राइजिंगली डेली आई यूज टू प्ले थ्रू व्हाट्सअप आई थिंक देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम हियर ओनली विथ माई यू हेज मेस्ट अप दिस एंटायर थिंग
there is some serious problem sir wearing a face mask anyway mrs speaker just trying to play what england we has done we can return to plan a in england and allow plan b regulations to expire yeah. Yeah. as a result from the start of thursday next week mandatory certification will end yeah. organizations can of course choose to use the nhs covid pass voluntarily but we will end the compulsory use of covid status certification in england yeah. From now on the government is no longer asking people to work from home. Yeah. And people should now speak to their employers about arrangements for returning to the office and having looked at the data carefully the cabinet concluded that once regulations lapse the government will no longer mandate the wearing of face masks anywhere. Yeah. Mrs Speaker Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, from from tomorrow, from tomorrow, we will no longer require face masks in classrooms, and the Department, and the Department for Education will shortly remove national guidance uh, on their use in communal areas. In the country at large, we will continue to suggest. This is a big news coming from uh, London, which we want. बात करिए सब एक बार. Unfortunately, we are unable to hear you, sir. We'll try to. This is what has happened, and the discoverer of ओमिक्रॉन खोजने वाली वैज्ञानिक ने कहा ब्रिटेन बिना वजह सबको डरा रहा तो इसीलिए वी वॉन्टेड टू शो यू दिस वीडियो नो आफ्टर ऑल नो ब्रिटेन हैज कम बैक डॉक्टर अंजलिना कोइट सी शी वॉज ऑन द चैनल ऑल्सो वेरी क्लियरली शी स्टेटेड दैट बात करिए सर एक बार अमिताभ बनर्जी जी फिर अनम्यूट किया मैं आप आप एक बार बात करिए आई एम टू ट्राइंग टू शो टू दर्ल्ड दट ओमिक्रॉन खोजने वाली वैज्ञानिक ने कहा ब्रिटेन बिना वजह सबको डरा रहा and then now you hear this from britain prime minister what they have done you can watch this on the screen they have just come out of every every type of कुछ सुनाई दे रहा अमिताभ जी नॉट एबल टू हियर there is some serious technical snags now
We are very sorry for the state of affairs. Somehow there is some serious problems here. The technicalities. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, from from tomorrow, from tomorrow we will no longer require face masks in classrooms, and the department and the Department for Education will shortly remove national guidance uh, on their use. When I am trying to share, I am losing the voice. And social care will set out plans in the coming days. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, as we return to Plan A, the House will know that some measures still remain, including those on self-isolation. Yes, sir. Baat karke dekhi ek baar. Nay, sir. Unfortunately. This is something strange. I'll make you presenter एक बार चेक करिए सब Try to speak, sir. Is your audio on, sir? Voice is not there, sir. Are you able to hear, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll just see. Yeah, I'll hold it. Not a problem. One second. एक बार बात करिए सर वॉइस लो है सर वेरी लो है वॉइस या फोन का ही एक सेकेंड अब बात करिए या आई थिंक इट इज इट इज बेटर नाउ या क्या या yeah, या yeah. एक बार मैं यूट्यूब का भी चेक कर रहा हूँ बात करते जाइए सर या मैम एबल टू हियर यू गो हेड या या देर इज नो अदर वे बिकॉज पीपल आर वेटिंग 
क्या बात करी है सर या या बात करिए सर अमिताभ जी आप 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 अमिताभ जी आप सिस्टम का सिस्टम का बंद करिए साउंड कम करिए सिस्टम का साउंड कम करिए अमिताभ जी या इट्स ओके नाउ प्लीज Immunity. 
and that support uh, 15 other studies. So a person who has recovered from a uh, natural infection, it's almost like he has got uh, more than 20 boosters. I mean, uh, if you have uh, taken a booster, a person uh, is uh, recovered from natural infection, it's about uh, 20 times more means uh, 20 times he has got vaccinated. So there is no logic at all for uh, insisting on a person who has recovered, who has got proof of uh, past infection to undergo vaccination. And he rightly refused to get vaccinated. He put his even the world title at stake. Then study done by researchers of Harvard University, also in European General of Ethnology, that it has brought out that even at the population level, in 68 countries and 2947 US counties, the rate of vaccination is not correlating with the rate of transmission. That means uh, vaccination of a person does not prevent him from spreading the virus. So, even a vaccinated person and unvaccinated person both can spread. So there is no danger to the other people because this is the uh, one of the argument which is being used. Because in ethics, there are four principles of ethics. We will discuss the ethical principles. First principle is that a person should have choice to take something or not to take something. In this case, to take a, that is autonomy. But that can be overruled if his choice can harm other people. That is the malfeasance or harm to other people or benefit, lack of benefit that if there had been a vaccine which could have prevented the transmission, then that uh, ethical principle could have been uh, brought into play. Ki, okay, you are, your choice is there but your choice can harm others. So in this case, in this particular case, this vaccine is not preventing the transmission as brought out by large-scale population studies and we are seeing breakthrough infection every day. And then particularly the latest uh, latest variant that is Omicron, it is totally, the vaccine is having no effect on uh, the transmission of this variant. So therefore, the, that ethical principle also does not hold good when trying to you know, force vaccine on this person who has it for and uh, thirdly, a person, uh, the, particularly there have been data from a European database that the rate of myocarditis, particularly young males, has increased after the rollout of the vaccine. So there is no benefit to the individual and there is likely harm, however less it is, but there is a potential harm in the getting a vaccine, particularly for a young male. And this uh, tennis player is a male and he is young. So there is a remote chance of uh, his getting an adverse event from this. So uh, there is this principle of harm also is an ethical principle that there should be first of all no harm. And firstly, yes, firstly there should be benefit. So the person who has recovered and who is at very low risk, otherwise also being a healthy male and having recovered here, he has got 27 times stronger immunity than vaccine. So why he should take vaccine? There is no scientific reason at all. There is no ethical reason. In fact, it would be unethical to give vaccine to a person who is not going to benefit, but if there is a likelihood of harm, which has come in the database. Myocarditis has been reported in the database of the European database. Then, there has been a, in that same tournament, three players drop out of the Australian Open with chest issues, the pain chest, okay. and they had to drop out. So that tennis star appears to clutch test, okay. so that may be a sign of myocarditis. So it is evident, particularly there have been many cases of at least seven pain chest, uh, and there have been uh, many sudden uh, unfortunate deaths also, which requires to be investigated, whatever it is. I mean, a healthy person uh, and uh, the large database is showing vaccine adverse effect database or even the baseline data is showing the increased myocarditis has occurred in the Europe where they have good data. So there is no ethic, uh, scientific and there is no ethical reason for young people who have recovered to take the vaccine. This is the Omicron variant, ICU hospitalization. There is no uh, fully vaccinated Australian hospital. Majority of uh, people today in hospital in Australia are vaccinated people. 68% people are vaccinated. So, idea is to say that vaccination is not preventing transmission in Australia. So, he is not an extra risk 
compared to a vaccinated person, an unvaccinated person is not a greater risk. In fact, according to the science, a person who has got natural immunity after recovery from infection, he or she has got a even local immunity, he or she will transmit also less compared to a vaccinated person. So, this uh, tennis player, Novak, already he is a young person, he has recovered, he has got immunity, there is no benefit for vaccine and he is not spreading to others because he has recovered from natural infection. Whereas, this vaccine would put him at a remote risk of myocarditis. It may be not very common, but there is always a risk, and particularly when he has to play in a competitive sport. And the same tournament, there have been three Australian players who had to go out of the tournament because of pain tests. Obviously, they have, since they were allowed, they have, must have taken the vaccine. So, whatever it is, they have concerns. Israel study, Israel has got four boosters, four, four doses, two boosters, third booster, fourth dose, fourth dose. The only quadruple vax country in the world also using mask and COVID passport just broke global record for daily COVID cases. So vaccine cannot stop infections. So this is established beyond doubt. Whether it is Australia, whether it is Israel, it is uh, established beyond doubt that vaccine is not preventing transmission. Perhaps it may be increasing it because of the mutant and variant and some virologists like said. And how little is the virus? What are the chances? At his age, he is uh, say 30 years, so his survival is 99.969. You see, the virus is very, very uh, benign, harmless mm -hmm. in young people, healthy people. So he, as I said, first you have to see the benefit okay. for the individual. So he, 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 and he has already recovered. He has already recovered. Once he has got it, he has recovered. Okay. So he has got no benefit of taking any vaccine. Autonomy. As we are saying, what are the ethical principles? That every uh, person has got uh, autonomy to do as he or she likes and it can only be, this autonomy can only be uh, ignored if the other ethical principle that is the harm to other people. Like smoking, if I am smoking, uh, the other person is inhaling the smoke. That's it. That's why smoking has been banned in public places. Because your person may have autonomy to smoke. Even if it is harming, it is his choice. But he or she doesn't have auto, uh, this uh, right to harm others because passive uh, smoking was found to be harmful. So that's why they have banned in all countries, more or less, they have banned uh, smoking in public places. So, but on that principle, if this vaccine had been uh, preventing transmission, then the mil Mills arm principle of uh, ignoring autonomy could be uh, justified. That is for the larger public good. That is called beneficence to the larger public or non maleficence no harm to the public. But since this vaccine, as we have seen from the data, from the John Hopkins studies, from other studies, from Israel studies, and also from the uh, many large countries, there is no change in the transmission. There is no, it is uh, equally uh, viral load is equal in the vaccine and vaccine. So this mill harm principle also does not apply. So autonomy should be preserved and there is no benefit to the person and there is likely harm at the individual level also of vaccine myocarditis and uh, there is no benefit to a person who has recovered from it, particularly a young person. So, these are the issues raised. Novak, Dijovic, Dijovic. The issues raised, uh, scientific issues. Why is natural immunity being ignored? Throughout the pandemic, since two years, natural immunity, the WHO, the CDC, the other scientists, the vaccine promoters have been saying, no, no, there is no such thing as uh, herd immunity is natural. Or even at an individual level, vaccine immunity is better, which goes against all science. That is uh, natural immunity. Recently, CDC has agreed that yes, natural immunity is as good as vaccinated. Only day, two days back, the CDC has given the statement and from their studies. Vaccination is uh, not uh, preventing transmission. So the mandate doesn't hold good and we have just seen Boris uh, Johnson saying that they don't require. And is the individual level also. Individual level he is not at risk of developing disease, but he is uh, at the risk of developing, uh, however less, 1 in 50,000 or 1 in 1 million, 
But the risk is actually risk is 13 uh, per million. The risk of developing myocarditis is there. So why even that remote risk should be taken? And uh, then the three tennis players uh, had pain chest in Australia. So that also brings to doubt of the side effect. Long term effects we still do not know. Nobody knows the long term effects of these vaccines, particularly the MRA vac vaccines. There are concerns that the spike protein can multiply and it can be found in different organs in rare cases. That is the some of the virologists have expressed concern. And ethical issues be he is not endangering any other's life because the vaccine is not giving a interruption in transmission. So whether he takes vaccine or he doesn't take vaccine is not going to uh, I mean, uh, extra risk. It may not uh, give any extra risk to the other people, to the public. So, tennis stars, 10 years journeys, so he, what were the consequences? He first he landed in Melbourne, his visa got scrapped, was thrown into detention, uh, appealed legally and got his visa restored. Then saw the Australian government legally challenge his stay again. So, there was a big drama, a big drama. But, he was ultimately, he was not allowed in Australia. So was he a loser? The question is, or was he a winner? But if you see, if he has upheld his courage of conviction on science, his courage of conviction on ethics, he has upheld it and he has sent a message. And others should also uphold and challenge. And uh, he was ultimately, he, without playing, he is a winner actually. He is a winner as he unleashed his trademark cross pattern in Melbourne and has floored many Australian courts, PM Scott Morrison's government, global vaccine pushers. So he took on big players like Australian courts. Forget about the tennis court, that's a game. But bigger issues because the world is confronted with uh, uh, human rights issues is confronted with the uh, fall of democracy. So we require such heroes to uh, fight the court of law rather than the tennis court, prime minister, uh, then global vaccine uh, promoters uh, on unscientific grounds and on unethical grounds. So this uh, brings into focus that the uh, blind uh, mass vaccination without any uh, common sense also is violating scientific principles, is violating ethical principles. So these are the two issues which will help in future court battles also. All over the world there are protests, all over the world there are court cases. So this can become a good case study to bring into focus how much uh, unethical and unscientific these uh, mandates and these promises are. And most similarly, the gigantic pharmaceutical cartel dictating our lives over the past couple of misusing the pandemic. You can uh, good use, put the vaccine. Vaccines are very strong uh, weapon, but the strong weapons have to be used with good target. You don't uh, take a good uh, weapon uh, artillery and just uh, try to cause collateral damage. Many people uh, may not require the vaccine, but they are likely harms. So you have to, that you are violating the ethical principles. So uh, you only give a vaccine where the risk is very high. People with comorbidity, people with um, elderly people, people in nursing homes like you give influenza vaccine. You don't give vaccine to a young, healthy tennis player or any other non-tennis player who have, who have recovered. The science of ages. So, uh, the data is there. That uh, recent data is also there. From the present pandemic, the data is there. If there is an argument that uh, we don't know, we don't know, does not hold good. Two years, the virus has been studied very thoroughly. And as far as natural immunity after recovery is concerned, it is established beyond doubt that it is 13 to 27 times more robust. So what more vaccine you require? Then that there is a likely harm. So these are the references. John Hopkins... Uh, these are the natural immunity study and uh, these are the study on the adverse effects reported that myocarditis because that becomes ethical, person is exposed to something which can harm and uh, first reference tells the person is not going to benefit who has recovered from infection because that person is 27 times more protected than vaccine and second uh, reference, these two references are adequate. I don't know why the Australia is setting such a bad example among democracies in the world. So Australia has become uh, something like, uh, I mean, very, very authoritarian state, which is very, very surprising. One second, sir. Again, you, uh, we want you to 
go through this uh, ppt once again right from the beginning okay for the sake of because we had technical hitches and uh, you make it full screen and meanwhile dr arvind kushwaha all in institute of medical sciences he says i got yeah. but uh, antibody test done today a year and four months yeah. since natural infection neutralizing oh, antibody is still detected in good strength with 97.5% inhibition what is this this is a big news coming on this show okay uh, he, he should also i i, I will tell arvin kushwa message from my side he should take a tennis racket and fly to australia <laughs> and do another drama <laughs> yeah, arvin uh, kushwa you take your tennis racket and uh, fly to australia Let us have another uh, drama there. Yes, with your uh, report, with your, with your report. Modern guru of epidemiology, the Kamita of energy, yeah. Gali Bhav Public Health, yeah, is yeah. asking you to pick up the racket because after one year and four months since natural infection, you got your antibody test done today, and you found 97.5 percent anti guru antibodies in your body. Good strength inhibition. I, I mean, I'm to say this is a big news. So this is the show all about. Once you are exposed, once you are infected, and you are anti, you get through natural immunity. You fight the virus so that you get immunity against that virus forever. That is what we are telling forever. When you get this natural immunity, through natural immunity, you fight the virus. and the antibodies whatever you gain the immunity whatever you gain against that virus is multi multi times much stronger and it is going to stay for longer stronger and longer that is what the tennis star has done to the world by not accepting vaccination by not allowing him to be tested when there were no symptoms now dr arvind kushwa after one year four months he gets the test done today and he is in his body there are 97.5% inhibition and the antibodies in good strength what does this show we are questioning world health organization including indian council of medical research right from honorable prime minister to all chief ministers from where are these cases daily cases you are listing everyone should question rt pcr did they increase the cycles How is that? So many positive tests, in spite of ICMR issuing a recent guideline stating that no one with without symptoms, asymptomatic, should not be tested. And the other day also, Dr. Kalvin Kishwa was also questioning, right from Prime Minister's office to Chief Minister's, if three lakhs cases are there, including media, why hospitals are not being flooded? Why there is no scarcity of beds? Why people are not fighting for oxygen? How do you look at this scenario, sir? Once you just start playing this uh, PPT once again, after that you, I want you to answer this. Oh, as I said, uh, these are the studies which are showing uh, that 27 times more effective than vaccine. These are the studies from John Hopkins. Then uh, it is uh, highlighted in red that again study from Israel, 27 times more strong than vaccine immunity. So, what is the purpose of a person who has recovered and got natural immunity, as this uh, Novak got, the tennis player had? So, he stood up to his uh, scientific conviction, and uh, that uh, the whole scientific community, I don't know why it is not seeing this basic science. Then, this is a study done that. at the population level 68 countries very high vaccination status and uh, to almost 3000 american counties or district increased vaccination did not prevent transmission in the community the trend of infection kept on increasing that means vaccine the ethical a uh, autonomy uh, every person has a right to choose to take any medical intervention vaccine or drug or not to take or even a procedure so that can only be by epidemic act or any act that can only be overruled when he or she not taking a vaccine can put the community in danger that is the only chance when that is called the mill 
harm principle means harm principle but when the vaccine is not working when the vaccine is not working it is in the transmission this principle cannot hold in the court of law or in the ethical court of law or ethical uh, human rights issue you are violating a human rights you are curtailing a human rights of a person autonomy without benefiting the society had the society been uh, benefited there could have been a argument by the court that he is endangering say he or she is not endangering because vaccination is not preventing transmission so this uh, does not hold ground similarly uh, then the uh, ethical issue of harm scientific and ethical issue the scientifically the database is showing that in europe there are uh, particularly young males are having higher chances of myocarditis and pericarditis published studies in after vaccine and particularly athletes they require a very strong heart so why should the person young athlete and he is a young male so young male may is a higher risk of myocarditis from the vaccine so that uh, scientifically it is improper and ethically it is unethical to subject someone to likely harm without benefit had that person been benefit then you do the benefit and harm study so here the benefit and harm uh, definitely the harm is more than the benefit the the parroting that it always uh, benefit outweighs the harm benefit does not hold good young people and particularly in people who have recovered from uh, covid infection 19 infection as this tennis player had so there is just no sense in this uh, the case then there is again concern that in australia in the same tournament three players had to take a get draw had, had to withdraw from the had to withdraw from the tournament because of pain chest such thing so that may that again there is concern why young people should have pain chest that uh, points to my likely my correct so whatever it is one has to be careful so these are the omicron maximum cases in australia are the vaccinated people who are admitted so it is not preventing that is just even in australia that it is not preventing the Change transmission the screen, sir. change the screen so, showing Also, 
does not hold good in this case. So this is the Mills Ham principle. Also, one cannot argue that that you are endangering someone else. You cannot. So these are the issues raised. Scientific issues. Why is natural immunity being ignored? And since vaccination is also not preventing. So both natural immunity, the individual is protected, but he is at risk of. Uh, myocarditis or any other side effect, why you should take it when he is got getting no benefit. So ethically it falls apart, scientific principles are not being followed and tennis players are collapsed who have taken the vaccine. Of course, that may be rare, but why even for the rare event when there is no benefit, nil benefit and long term effects nobody knows. Then ethical issues, is he endangering anyone's life? That would then the Mills principle apply in this case, even that is not applying. So these are the issues raised. So this case brings into sharp focus to the scientific and the legal community, I would say. Both are blind. The legal community is also blind. The scientific community is also blind. The scientific community is blind to the science. The legal community is blind to the ethics of the pandemic uh, response. Mm -hmm. The uh, pandemic response has violated all uh, from the very beginning all scientific principles the pandemic has violated all legal principles. So this case, one case has brought into focus the scientific principles violated, the ethical principles violated. Let us hope that this can raise the awareness of the world. Violate, uh, uh, they are de deliberately violating ethical principles. So both uh, science and ethics, both are being violated. Both are being violated. So this is, uh, we, uh, one doesn't know what is happening there in Australia. I mean, it cannot call itself a democratic country. I mean, uh, I don't know. It is, uh, it's, uh, it's not a democratic country. Also part of Commonwealth. Oh, I, I don't know what is happening in Australia. I just uh, just it fails to uh, it fails all. Uh, something called uh, uh, law, as you rightly said, ethics. When you have clearly pointed out, 68 percent of those vaccinated in Australia are suffering again. They are being hospitalized. They are getting yeah, yeah. COVID infection. Yeah. Don't you think these statistics, the courts could have taken into consideration and they also mass demonstrations were there in Melbourne. No media was showing. Last they, we have shown. They are, uh, they are also uh, videos of uh, police atrocities in Australia. They are uh, catching, uh, recently there was a video, old lady is arrested by the police for not wearing masks and uh, all this type of thing. So there have been a lot of police uh, brutalities in Australia. So it is, as I said, it is very surprising ki how Australia is calling itself a democracy and a modern uh, scientific community. I don't know. It should be, it is very shameful. I mean, uh, just uh, we can't uh, understand what is happening. Just difficult to understand. Oh, hope Australian Prime Minister is listening to this. Very difficult to understand. It is shameful. They are not adopting science. And how do you look at this? Dijakovic has been departed and is hale and healthy he was playing practicing also but those vaccinated who are allowed to play three of those players quit the australian open stating chest pain how is that courts are silent their media is silent who is silent world media is silent and even indian media and indian public are silent how do you look at this scenario three players this is um all these news are rationalized that yes, they are not practiced or they should not exert and all that. But these are athletes and unfortunately, 
this type of uh, incident should not take place unfortunately that should not take place to really drive home the point uh, we should uh, alert the world scientific and legal community should wake up before uh, major tragedies and particularly we don't know the long term effects so they should wake up before any major tragedy in young people particularly wonderful but how, how is uh, england yeah please go ahead um there has to be something i don't know what uh, are they are they people are taking to the streets i think uh, perhaps uh, i mean there is no other way i think uh, but uh, unfortunately that is not uh, civilized society should follow the science civilized society should be ethical we are uh, going to uh, i mean uh, some uh, the people in power want to subdue the people which is uh, not good so it has become a political issue not a scientific issue anymore and uh, i mean there is uh, something uh, uh, mass awareness has to come up uh, mass uh, resistance has to take, uh, come up there has to be a gandhi perhaps in every country for a peaceful uh, non violence uh, there has to be a gandhi in every country now i think that is the only way forward or a subhash chandra bose which was this subhash chandra bose because uh, either the amount of celebrating subhash chandra bose ऑस्ट्रेलिया they have been uh, too much uh, fascinated with uh, technology they have been indoctrinated in uh, modern technology they think the technology has all the answers they uh, they don't have the understanding this young uh, canada has also got a young uh, uh, leader political leader i think australia has also got a young leader these people have got uh, uh, they o- overestimate the uh, miracles of science science and technology can achieve a lot of things but it cannot uh, this uh, mass vaccination in uh, public health one size does not fit all you have to give a individual each individual is different with this young people who have become uh, world leaders they do not understand big statement coming from dr kamito when the young leaders but we have a tajurba kar honorable prime minister then how do you look at indian senior you we have last a, a star <laughs> punit punit star we last in karnataka so uh, they are they are a, they are chanaks the old leaders become chanak the young leaders uh, are ignorant so this is the paradox abhi wo jo elderly hote hai wo chanak niti mein seekh lete hai unke advisors rehte hai chanak chanak niti chalta hai elders mein aur young mein they are foolish they are fo- young young leaders are foolish and the old leaders are chanak they are descendants of chanak so we require a gandhi actually straight forward gandhi चाणक्स and we require subhash chandra bose who can uh, fight the young leaders who are foolish so they can only understand the revolution become awake now dr kushwaha has clearly pointed out it is a big test for honorable prime minister and honorable chief ministers indian council of medical research where are they going to keep their head and dcgi every state government medical health department what is that you are going to answer how all of a sudden after lakhs of people participating in the rally the very next day these covid tests lakhs of cases because omicron we have revealed through this channel it is mild and it is dying in south africa then world shifted to covid 19 again how do you look at this scenario sir lakhs of people participate in the rally leaders for them nothing will happen now cinema theaters malls are open bars and restaurants where air condition everything is air con- they are all open mysteriously schools and colleges are closed now schools and colleges have become promotion centers of vaccines 
that is what i have been telling uh-huh. you all school management tomorrow you will face the music every parent or every citizen should ask any vaccine center what does this vaccine contain and is there any liability or compensation and who is going to be held responsible and why should i take this vaccine these are the questions they should ask them don't you think so sir when bars are open yes, cinema yes, theaters sir. are open schools and colleges closed and they have become vaccination promotion centers how do you look at this scenario it's a very difficult uh, scenario dr reddy nothing is straight forward because many parents they have done a, i believe a recent survey 70% parents uh, believe in vaccine the amount of fear installed by deliberately keeping the schools closed that is a very very difficult 70% perhaps doctors also think uh, pediatrician also think that vaccine is required for children i, I think all as i said the young generation have got too much faith in technology young parents they have got uh, um, small children parents are young parents so they are just like the world leaders who are young they overestimate the technology they think that uh, human beings are mechanical things one size fits all they don't understand that medicine is an art public health is an art it is uh, customized it has to be customized uh, individual risk has to be weighed harm should be weighed that is the art of medicine or that is the art of public health young people will not understand the art they are just going uh, science which is also not a very correct science they are going for the wrong science even if they are going for science they are ignoring the natural immunity that means the science is also not uh, deep knowledge of science and there is uh, just uh, no art at all they are just impatient lot they think ki all solutions are technological solutions that vaccine will fix that's uh, like an antivirus in computer you have a uh, antivirus vaccine which is not the way it uh, the human body works out the very fact that the omicron has spread like anything so that vaccine uh, is not the answer because a new mutant if i you leave it alone then uh, the nature also adapts by uh, the new mutants are not very lethal also so this all something like a common cold which you cannot uh, eliminate now when you say these parents or there is a concern they don't they understand after israel study what happened now they want to shift back to normal uh, natural immunity england recently just two days back england also shut down all uh, vaccine passports and everything and they said school should open no work from home no masks mandated in spite of these things how do you think that these parents are still not learning not understanding there is uh, too much of uh, censorship of news uh, there are too much of uh, censorship it, uh, yesterday only i got a message from one uh, journalist who i used to give an, in the mainstream media he says ki my editor has told me not to cover, do any more coverage on omicron and uh, I, and I, and he is also surprised he says ki the pharma lobby is very strong sir i i am very sorry so so this is uh, what happens uh, the, the, the parents and all they think ki these things are not uh, these are uh, fake news or something like that because now there are uh, any other opinion other than vaccine is being censored the uh, youtube are being removed and uh, other people who are expressing any adverse events uh, the side effects are uh, not uh, given the platform and they are censored so all this uh, information control is also happening and most of them uh, still it has become more of faith than science just like do you blindly believe in some uh, particular uh, so that is unfortunate here also in tagi dr arora we have challenged him he is clearly on record states which is in the public domain there are more deaths in between the age group of 15 to 17 in the second wave we have challenged we have asked him and his own another colleague he is not clearly no. he clearly states no deaths no question of vaccine because they already have natural immunity they were all part of the same family when first and second wave so called first and second waves were hitting the country and he says no question of vaccine how is that the prime minister or prime minister's office made honorable prime minister to speak on this news given by dr n arora the n tagi chairman which is untrue do you think prime minister or his office will try to check before they speak they just come on like that and they speak and they create this panic and all of us are from january 3 boosters and as well as 
vaccines for children how can a prime minister just so blindly believe this that n arora and speak and not only the boosters why do you need a booster is not working so this was not working why the hell you need a booster that too when there is community transmission herd immunity is there the opposition is also sleeping no these are the points for the opposition to take up i mean if the opposition is sleeping then uh, because if you see in us the senators other senators keep questioning for they keep questioning the government but here we do not have a strong opposition so opposition or some mp or some politician so if the opposition is not also speaking that means they are they, they, they are also compromised he says i have advised booster and through kapil bajaj yeah. we have exposed how the health the public health foundation of india started in during ups regime how bill and milan games foundation came into india through upa government how it is being consolidated by modi government now we have shown that to so no other leftists were part of it Please, so, that is why yeah it is compromised all political parties are compromised all the public health foundation uh, political parties all have got conflict of interest the uh, vaccine manufacturer uh, gates foundation they have got conflict of interest so everything is a web they are in the web they cannot come out of the web you know but how, how how do you think honorable prime minister when such a big lie is being half in the name of 15 to 17 years children died during the second wave and even we questioned supreme court sir how did you diagnose it through post mortem autopsy how is that you are asking 50000 to be paid is it not other because of other diseases many are dying in india and because of which insurance companies should have paid major compensation in lakhs for which they are insured and even the pharmaceuticals because of insurance they would have manufactured more such type of drugs to save other diseases but both in glow when they are trying to take the umbrage in the name of emergency use authorization making our own money that is why i said to supreme court or honorable high court when you are investing my public money my money in the name of emergency use authorization as a concerned citizen my right comes to play i question because you are using my money without giving information how did they die what is the cause for their death what they are not co morbidities we are challenged through this channel is it tuberculosis malaria dengue typhoid diarrhea which are the diseases which are reflecting young youth and children nothing no nothing no answer comes but a prime minister on the statement of dr n n arora how can he just come out and uh, address the nation and start this vaccination as he has done last year too and only after that we found delta variant yeah because yeah you know, dr reddy you are talking uh, in a situation where democracy is working democracy is uh, getting uh, not working uh, australia it is not working canada it is not working so here also it is not working to full potential we have to regain democracy then only they will answer your questions there is no accountability there is no accountability of government servants there is no accountability of the uh, ntai chair since there is no accountability they have become arrogant it is arrogance it is lack of accountability these are all signs of a failing democracy failing democracy but it is like aapke khud ke paise se aapko dash dash karwa rahe kyun log log kyun pata nahi chal raha hai england khatam ho gayi bahar aa gayi south africa mein omicron khatam ho raha hai spain mein aap dekh chuke hain aur us mein to divided hai pura लेकिन एक इंडिया ऐसा कंट्री है जहां लोकतंत्र की बात हम करते हैं और राजनीति दल इस तरह और साथ में मीडिया विश्वास जी वॉज क्वेश्चनिंग वॉट इज दिस मीडिया डूइंग हाउ इज दट दे आर ट्राइंग टू स्केयर पीपल थ्री लैख केसेस हाउ आफ्टर आई सी एम आर सेट नो टेस्टिंग ऑफ एसिमटोमेटिक केसेस एंड ही ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन साइंटिफिकली सेट इफ देर आर थ्री लैख केसेस ऑल ऑफ ए सडन वाई हॉस्पिटल बेड्स आर एम टी वाई बेड्स इन हॉस्पिटल्स आर एम टी वाई देर इज नो डिमांड फॉर ऑक्सीजन is it media created or politicians or administrators created he was questioning this how do you look at this scenario no hospital is flooding abhi dekhiye abhi aap chalte chalte logo ko asymptomatic logo ko abhi to kya kar diya unhone self test kit nikal diya everybody is buying kit and 
पॉजिटिव आता है तो वो फिर अपलोड करना पड़ता आईसीएमआर साइट में वो केस काउंट में चला जाता तो अभी बिगर किसी एफर्ट के केस बढ़ते रहेंगे तो ये तो अभी यू आर मेकिंग पीपल यू नो मेंटल केसेस जिसको कहते हैं न्यूरोटिक केसेस और ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव डिसऑर्डर दस बार वो डालता रहता है और निकल आता है कभी ना कभी फॉल्स पॉजिटिव फॉल्स नेगेटिव सब कुछ चलता है और वो अपलोड हो जाता है और कई लोग तो फायदा भी उठा रहे हैं ऑफिस से सात दिन का छुट्टी मिल जाता है कोविड पॉजिटिव तो ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग डॉक्टर साहब क्या करोगे एवरीबडी इज एक्सपर्टिंग द सिस्टम एवरीबडी इज एक्सपर्टिंग द पैंडेमिक सो कॉल्ड पैंडेमिक वट शुड बी यूर लास्ट वर्ड एज ए पब्लिक हेल्थ एक्सपोनेंट एंड एज अंसर्न सिटीजन लास्ट वर्ड यही है कि दे शुड पीपल साइंटिस्ट एंड पीपल लॉयर्स है हमारे कंट्री में भी पीपल आर कमिंग आउट दे शुड हैव द करेज ऑफ कन्विक्शन दे शुड कम टूगेदर एंड दे शुड नो दैट जो इकोनॉमिक लॉस हो रहा है पर्टिकुलरली बच्चे को सबसे ज्यादा लॉस हो रहा है चिल्ड्रेन लॉस जो हो रहे हैं ये इिवर्सेबल है दो साल में बहुत बच्चे का एजुकेशनल बैकवर्डनेस हो जाता है उसको रिकवर करने में ग्रोइंग पीरियड होता है फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स टेन ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ यंग बच्चे बंद है उनका साइकोलॉजिकल सोशल डिप्रेशन एंगजाइटी इवन एडल्ट में बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है तो ये बहुत ही ज्यादा मतलब कोविड का कोई डेथ नहीं हो रहा है और इसमें अभी कोई रीजन नहीं है जल्दी ही इसको इंग्लैंड से दूसरे कंट्री से तो इंडिया में भी जल्दी से सब कुछ ओपन कर देना चाहिए मतलब फोकस प्रिवेंशन तो पहले से ही है एल्डरली लोग एल्डरली भी हमारे टफ है एल्डरली को भी जो है कि दे एट द मोस्ट यू कैन गिव देम फोकस प्रिवेंशन बट ये वैक्सीन मैंडेट स्कूल को कोर्सन इनडायरेक्ट मैंडेट सुप्रीम कोर्ट में खुद एफिडेविट दिया है सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ने कि वैक्सीन मैंडेट नहीं है कोई फोर्स नहीं कर सकता तो दे शुड टेक एक्शन अगेंस्ट दोज हु आर फोर्सिंग वो जब तक नहीं होगा तो दे आर डबल स्टैंडर्ड्स विच शुड एंड एक्चुअली अकाउंटेबिलिटी शुड बी देर डबल स्टैंडर्ड शुड बी शुड एंड देर शुड बी अकाउंटेबिलिटी सो दैट एन था कि चेयर पर्सन लाइक डॉक्टर एन आर 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 कैन बी क्वेश्चन एंड ही हैज टू प्रोवाइड द प्रूफ एज टू फ्रॉम वेयर डिड ही गेट दैट फिगर दैट इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ 15 टू 17 इयर्स मेनी डाइड इन दैट एज ग्रुप ड्यूरिंग द सेकंड वेव अकाउंटेबिलिटी ऑफ डॉक्टर एन अरोरा हिज इन्फ्लुएंस एंड ही हैड ऑन आवर ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट इज व्हाई ही केम आउट ऑन 25 दिसंबर एंड ही अनाउंस्ड ऑल ऑफ अ सडन वैक्सीन्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन अगेन बूस्टर व्हिच बीट्स माय इंटेलिजेंस फर्स्ट डोज डिड नॉट वर्क सेकंड डोज डिड नॉट वर्क हाउ विल अ बूस्टर वर्क and when did you do antibody study across india delhi and the other cities they have clearly said hyderabad also they were already in the verge of herd immunity through community transmission antibodies were found likewise in children they have studied case studies are there in across uh, cities in india they already have 99% of uh, antibodies in children then why the hell they did to propose both booster and uh, vaccines for children everyone should answer right from honorable prime minister to chief minister icmr to dcgi every government organization you are liable because you are spending my money you are not giving from somewhere it is my money my tax money you are spending it for a disease which has got 99.9% recovery on their own without any treatment that is why we are challenging you if people have died during first or second or third phase of corona how did they die where is the post mortem report autopsy report when people go to hospitals what are the presenting symptoms what are the drugs with which you have treated is it not a drug trial man mani because of world health organization remedies way to cocktail it went on changing and when during changing how many people have died because of these drug trials and how many people have died because of the fear and panic situation which you are creating even now 3 lakh cases dr arvind kushwaha even dr amita benerjee is questioning where are those cases in which hospitals how many beds are in shortage now where is the oxygen shortage that is why the show has been demanding right from panchayat to mandal to district level which are the patients which are the citizens who are affected release their names what are the presenting symptoms and this rt pcr home kits what is the cycle and we were because of this failed this thing i am not able to but still i'll try to show you one document regarding rt pcr stating that rt pcr is a failed test which has been which is being shared among the group 
very rigorous i will tell you one thing sir our uh, system is hacked <laughs> my system i am not able to move anything so here also i am trying to move let me show the document once again so that the fear will go away from parents parents should go and question the school authorities or those who are trying to vaccinate what does these vaccines contain you have every right do they contain alumina or formaldehyde or anything else see we have shown them alternatives in the form of anandaya ayurvedic medicine cleared by ap high court neither andhra pradesh government now atmanirbhar ready indian traditional government modi government doesn't pursue this that beats my intelligence naturopathy they don't want to follow our own indian traditional medicines we don't want to follow you want to invest on vaccines that is my public money even rt pcr last time also we have shown how it is a failed test with their own rt rti information now you are depending on that information so i request parents and concerned citizens don't panic no fear please you have been going around did anything happen to you lakhs of people participated in the rally did anything happen to them these politicians administrators they keep crossing including honorable prime minister was traveling around the world did anything happen to him without masks and now rahul gandhi when he says booster i have suggested you should question him is it not your upa government which has got bill gates and melinda foundation into india public health foundation of india mr reddy who was aims their cardiologist being in that position how did he float that organization is it not upa government which is solely responsible for this mess now in the country as this been happening in africa and everywhere the same thing is being adopted by nda under modi this is what is perplexing us who are these people and question yourself honorable citizens which are the diseases is it corona or tb malaria dengue malnutrition encephalitis which are the diseases killing youth and children in india and adults also is it not because of cancer and so many other diseases which are killing people in india out of 27000 people how many are dying because of corona we have been demanding this from supreme court institute a trial do the autopsy post mortem report without which how can you diagnose and you award 50000 public money to every death because they are all insured under different policies instead of insurance companies paying instead of pharmacy coming to the rescue in the form of treatment in the hospitals you are categorizing them all under corona and they are escaping with such huge crores and crores of hundreds of crores of rupees you are making every indian to pay and during this panic pandemic indians have lost their livelihoods children being taxed when they go to school high fees you were go to buy dal to oil high rates vegetables today when we went out and bought two bags 500 rupees small bags even 500 rupees vegetables we are not able to buy and fruits honorable prime minister and chief minister how will we get natural immunity without food is it through vaccine without investing our own money you tell us that how are you following and who are your advisors it's time people start questioning mehangai bad gayi kyon bad gayi hamare prabhut sarkar ne kaha ki पेट्रोल डीजल दामे हम क्यों बढ़ाए क्योंकि वैक्सीन के लिए किसको चाहिए वैक्सीन वैक्सीन काम कर रहा है अगर एक साइड वैक्सीन आप बात कर रहे हैं दूसरी साइड इतनी कीमती दाम दाल से लेकर चावल तक सब्जी का दाम बढ़ा फ्रूट्स का दाम बढ़ा ये सब के बिना सहज रोग निरोधक शक्ति हमारे किस तरह आएगा आप सोचिए हमारे पैसे से और ये इमरजेंसी यूज ऑथोराइजेशन के नीचे नो लाइबिलिटी एंड कंपनसेशन आज तक वैक्सीन के लिए ये कैसा देखते हैं आप आप सोचिए आप सोचिए आप बिना आपका सोच नथिंग इज गोइंग टू चेंज थिंक माई डियर फेलो सिटीजन आवर मनी इज बींग इन्वेस्टेड फॉर दीज वैक्सीन अंडर द नेम ऑफ इमरजेंसी यूज ऑथोराइजेशन दैट इज वाई ऑल ऑफ एस एन केसेस इंक्रीज ऑल ऑफ एस एन केसेस डिक्रीज आर टी पी सर वॉट इज द टेस्ट एंड हाउ मेनी आर रियली इन्फेक्टेड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू जस्ट क्वेश्चन इन योर ओन लोकेलिटी इज इट नॉट कॉमन कोल्ड because of which they are testing and it is becoming positive how many have been hospitalized and what are the deaths because of if you see around question yourself it is our money which is being invested for these man pharmacy manufacturers all political parties have become one 
it is the question of every Indian citizen because you yourself is a constitutional authority. We have submitted this constitutional to ourselves. हमने अपने संविधान को अपने आप को समर्पित किया. हम अपने आप एक संविधान हैं. तो हम जो पैसे taxes pay करते हैं उससे ही केंद्र सरकार से लेकर राष्ट्र सरकार चलता है. वो राजा हित में चलना चाहिए. The taxes which we pay through which central and new state governments run. They are all our public servants, right from Prime Minister to Chief Minister. They are all our public servants. How is that we are not being informed? एक नागरिक के तहत मेरे सही समाचार क्यों नहीं है? ये समाचार आप दीजिए, हम निर्णय करेंगे क्या हमको सही है, क्या हमको नहीं। क्योंकि जीने का हक मेरा है, स्वास्थ्य का भी मेरा हक है। Right to life is my fundamental right, and right to health is my right, and I should need the proper information. How is that, Dr. N. Arora, you have to make him accountable. 15 to 17 years, how many have died? Where is the report? Where is the proof? This has to be borne in mind. Every child and every parent should understand this. Schools and colleges, you are supposed to impart quality education without discrimination. Not to promote vaccines under emergency use authorization, investing our money. There is no liability and compensation. Will you hold responsible? Take the responsibility. And when you, don't you know, cinema theatres, malls, bars and restaurants are open. Do you think schools are going to transmit virus or bars and restaurants and cinema halls? The choice is yours. So be well informed, truly informed. Election after election, rally after rally. Politicians go around the world, nothing happens. If nothing happens to them, what are they taking then? Is it not a trial vaccine, placebo to some, candid vaccine to all innocent people and without any liability and compensation, investing our own money, our own money. That is why we are demanding Supreme Court and High Courts come to the rescue, it is our money. Expedite the trial with all the documentary evidences. Farmer strike, Pisan ka andolan aapke saamne ek saal bar chala. No physical distance, no masks. Case study kyo nahi lete aap? ये स्टडी क्यों नहीं लेते आप? तो इसीलिए हम आपको समझाना चाहते कि आप हम समझाना चाहते कि आप आप अपने आप एक कानून संविधान के व्यवस्था है आपका हक बनता है कि केंद्र राज्य सरकार आपको सही समाचार दे और ये आपका हक बनता है कि आप उनसे पूछना शुरू कीजिए उनको प्रश्न करना शुरू शुरू कीजिए। Every citizen, concerned citizen, should short start questioning. Otherwise, it is up to you. We are trying to bring you all the scientific evidences with logic, as per rule of law, constitution, invoking evidential act. We are informing you, truly informing you. Rest is your decision. It is your decision. Yes, sir, Dr. Amitabh Before we say bye, anything else you would like to add? Yes, I think uh, coffee, these are food for thought. Everybody should think, all citizens should think for a healthy democracy, for a good health. Without a good democracy, there will be no exploitation, more uh, fall in health, more uh, expensive things will increase. Indirectly, cost of living will increase if you, everything is uh, diverted to pharma companies. So we have to be careful as our citizens. हमारी डर की इनका इन्वेस्टमेंट है तो डरिए मत डेर टू बी वाइस आप घर निकालिए प्रश्न करना सीखिए क्योंकि ये आपकी जिंदगी है और स्वास्थ्य भी आपका ही है तो इसका जो रिपोर्टेशन रीटेलीकास्ट वी विल कम आउट विद अदर फायर एंड दिस शो विल बी रीटेलीकास्टेड ऑन 27 मॉर्निंग एट 11 एम ऑन सिटीजेंस डॉक्टर टीएसपी आचार्य 27 मॉर्निंग 11 एम ऑन डॉक्टर सिटीजेंस डॉक्टर टीएसपी आचार्य टू सपोर्ट डॉक्टर टीएसपी आचार्य सिटीजेंस डॉक्टर टीएसपी आचार्य 
and environment people Dr. TSPR channel. Support, subscribe and share the links. Today, believe me, we have been struggling for 11 minutes. There was a delay. This is hacking. My entire system is hacked. I am not able to move this way or that way. Dr. Amitabh Banerjee, over 70 years old, I salute all these wonderful guests. He is still holding on to his mobile. Through that, we have connected this audio to this world. This much of pain we take. These type of wonderful guests are there to serve the society. Why? Larger public interest. Because we feel we are all part of the same society. If we do something good to the society, invariably we will all be benefited. If we do bad, we will be part of it. So, kindly understand that this is our life and our health. Do support Dr. TSPR channels. Come whatever may with wonderful guests like Dr. Amita Benerji and all such type wonderful guests. We are going to bring you all the latest with evidences. The show is very clearly states the tagline is simple. No enmity against individual nor animosity against any party or organization. Issue as per rule of law, constitution, invoking evidential act. You have seen Dr. Amita Benerji has listed so many evidences for you. How Australia ignored own evidences and at the cost of democracy they have made themselves dash dash dash. England after long hangama it has come out when public started to demand, when people started to come onto the roads. This is happening everywhere in Europe, Spain, El Salvador and in America it's a divided house. Nothing is being shown but American companies are patents whether it comes to vaccines or these artificial tests. If I am wrong they can always correct me. That is why they create fear and panic so that our hard-earned money is spent because our political system is dash dash dash. Take care. Sukha Nidra Shubharatri for all the Indians. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to the entire world. Wake up. Wake up before it is too, too, too late. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye.